Now here's a question I'm asked quite often. You know, I'll catch a fish and I'll reel them up beside the boat and I'll lift him in and the fish will bleed a little bit. And you'll hit a little membrane or something and you'll get ready to release the fish. I may be fishing with one of my children or something and they'll go, ooh, does that hurt the fish? And, uh, and I've had both of the people ask me the same question. And I'll wash the fish off and maybe the cold water will uh, stop the bleeding and I'll release the fish. And I've had other people ask me, do fish feel pain as humans do? Now, you know, that's a real good question. And I've done a little research on it. And like I said, I'm asked that question quite often. Do fish feel pain as humans do? Well, in humans, the central nervous system has a large cerebral hemisphere and a brain stem connected to the spinal cord. When injury stimuli are generated, it's transmitted to the spinal cord through the brain stem and eventually to specialized brain centers in the large cerebral hemispheres. There, the unpleasant emotion of pain is recognized. Contrarily, the cerebral hemispheres of fish lack the regions necessary for conscious awareness or the generations of a pain experience. Reaction to injury may occur. They take protective measures, such as darting away and so forth, but that doesn't mean that pain is experienced. Now, according to Dr. James Rose, a professor in the Department of Psychology, Zoology, and Physiology at the University of Wyoming, says if the cortex of the human brain is damaged or becomes dysfunctional, what we do, we lose our awareness of sensation. If the cerebral hemispheres of a fish are destroyed, the fish behavior is quite normal because it's a brain stem dominated organism. So the answer to the question is simple. No, fish do not feel pain as humans do. Sorry, Peter. And that's some Halcyo Fishing University fishing tip.